You know the drill by this point. Here we are back with Darksiders 3. In this episode, we're gonna jump over this chasm and continue. Is that an angel? I think it is. <sighs> Music to my ears. Feel the burn of Holy shit. It's an iron giant from what you call it, Final Fantasy. He has two swords. It's all good. Look at this thing. I love... Oh, this is rat. Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting a boss. Alright, chill out. Chill out. Sick. Unfortunately, I did two... I did two attacks, uh, so I missed my counter. Sick. Activate this. Alright. This guy is looking fairly easy. Of course, me being a Darksiders 3 expert. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm gonna check out this frenzy shard. We'll see what it does. I thought this was just like a random ass dude. Not rat. Because I thought the next one was gonna be slot. Shit, how do you activate your thing? There we go. This heals us too. Go full Kratos on his ass. Yeah, he's fairly easy so far. Oh shit. I keep mistiming that. This is. I was gonna say, did he just like throw both his weapons? Alright, we have to dodge backwards, I think. We'll see where it puts us. Well, this is this is not looking too difficult. Fairly standard boss. I mean, it's only the second one. So, you know, five left after this. I'm assuming the deadly sins are not the only bosses in this game. Bosses were always the best part of Darksiders, I think. Like the Samael fight from 2. That's a great one. Oh shit. Alright. I have to look at what all of these do. Havoc shot gives me havoc form, doesn't it? Yes, okay. I nearly fell off. That would have been stupid. That would have been really stupid. Alright. Ah, oh, this is not a huge run back. I mean, when you look at it. Let's see. Healing shard, I have one. Alright, I th think we're still okay health-wise. We got our Nephilim's Respite back. Plus, this should give us quite a few souls. Hey, look at that thing. I'll take that. Thank you. 803. Wait. Was that my souls? I had more than 800, didn't I? But maybe, because I don't see them here. Alright. He's pissed. I was too far away, probably. Sometimes locking on it kind of becomes difficult to kind of judge your weapon range. All 
I'm absolutely not listening to what this fool is babbling on about. Sick. Alright. Phase 2. Alright, he's back. Teleporting weapons, a classic. I probably don't want to get hit by that. I say as I get hit by that. Let's pop it. Should be dead, right? Holy shit. <laughs> That's sick. He's dead. Nice, Sue. Oh. She's gonna be pissed. Oh, the horse. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the horse. She just has her horse, doesn't she? Like, straight up. What the hell? It's an angel weapon, isn't it? Oh, because it's... Because it's wrath. Yeah, it didn't quite work out. Oh, it did kind of work out. Well, I didn't expect the horse to die. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be no horse sections in this game then. Because uh, we all dead. We were set up. War. The others. There are greater forces at work here. Watcher. Help. And she was already always pissed before. Now she's gonna be even more pissed. I like how the Watcher is actually helping us sometimes, because the one from Darksiders 1 sure as shit wouldn't have done that. Shout out to the textures popping in. Oh, I remember this cutscene. From the demo. Step now I ask of both angel and demon. Do you arrive here of your own free will? The tenants of the hollowing demand it. Ahem, <laughs> subtle. Of the hollows. As do I. Ahem, <laughs> subtle you again. Both fought this war since the dawn of time you are weary yet immortality prevents the ultimate respite the lord of the hollows alone can restore is this what you become in dark souls 3 the final after the release. ending no longer will your souls be recycled time and time again to fight for heaven and hell they are Is that straight up, straight up the song from Dark Souls 3? I'm only kidding, of course, with these Dark Souls th references. The game does, I don't know if they're intentional or not. Do you even know where you are? 
And I know exactly where I am. The stench betrays you. The Hollows is a hell all its own. Indeed. But it is one that I alone rule. What did you do to them? Nothing that they did not wish for. I like this guy already. <laughs> you wear your ignorance on your face. The true consequences of this so-called war for balance are beyond your comprehension. Perhaps I should hollow you. A watcher. This only confirms what I already held to be true. You are just a puppet. The council is playing you to further their own machinations. Enough! Unlike you, I have not come to this place for personal gain. How did we come the here, by the way? Seven deadly sins must be eliminated once and for all to protect the balance you mock. I will not be deterred. Res Watcher is definitely trying to fuck us. She is tenacious, to say the least. Your words carry no weight with me. They stink of lies. Oh, Zambos. Cool. Alright, more fighting. I'm down. New enemies? I think new enemies. I'm, I'm liking this new combo I discovered on accident where you hold down the button. Good for clearing out these types of enemies. This, this is more than a test of battle. A demonstration, horseman. You are so quick to combat. Your whip ready to crack. True righteousness requires true insight. If this was a test... Ah, uh, insight. To resist a call to raw impulse <laughs> is a different type of strength. Spare your wisdom. I know my strength, and when I prove it to the Council, I alone will lead the Horsemen. The Seven will be destroyed, along with their designs for a world far more hideous than the Apocalypse we already know. Very well. You will need... Oh, now he's just gonna... Oh, shit. It's a bowling ball. A flame hollow? For what purpose? Even I am aware that there are times when sides must be chosen. Take this weapon. And know that I have chosen mine. But take heed, horseman. The universe has so many faces. Your survival depends on what you have learned. You must open your to much more than that which gazes back at you from the mirror. This dude straight up looks like Can we go now? a character from like League of Legends. There is the matter of Abraxas to discuss. Abraxas. The demon meddler. If Earth is to remain intact, he must be dealt with. Oh, it's this game's version of Samael. He threatens your balance. His very soul must be brought to me. I see. And you want me to do it? Who better? I'll consider it. No guarantees. And you and your watcher be gone. <laughs> All right. I don't know about this dude. Kind of sus suspect. Press L1 and circle to activate flame hollow all right oh new weapons all right this is cool okay so this is i was gonna say when we'll get something changes when i hold it i can feel its power nice so i was wondering when we were gonna get a secondary weapon or something because you know the other games had uh, attacks. Oh, okay. I feel nothing. <laughs> like wading through a pond. This is how it's gonna be. I bet we're gonna get like 
all the different elements. Press X to perform a flame jump. Nice. Okay. There are a couple of places where I can already think of to use this. This dude just straight up gave this to us. What a nice guy. So, you know. Yeah, because the other games had like... Um, triangle button combos as well. Or whatever your choice of controller is, you know. Man, I was wondering when we are going to get that for this game too. Alright. I think that's why... I think with that previous boss I figured out now why my souls were outside. It's because it transitioned straight into an unskippable cutscene. Makes sense, makes sense. It's just weird for a second. Alright, before we go there... What up, Volgrim? Speaking of Volgrim, I feel like I have some upgrade shards. I don't know if I have enough to upgrade my whip, uh, but let's see. Uh, I have four, so I could upgrade it, or I could go and upgrade this new weapon. This guy for sure doesn't have the voice actor Not from the old game. What is up with his saved. mouth? That's no secret. But by who? Surely angels are the most likely suspect. Wouldn't you agree after what happened to dear old Rampage? You are not fit to speak his name. No need to unleash your might on me, horseman. Look to those who would benefit from your failure. Your enemies are closer. Hmm. Volgrim, Volgrim. You're on to some shit for sure. Let time. me see. Uh, do I need any? I kind of like this Havoc shard. They're expensive as hell though. He had us have Silver Adamantine, which... Let's buy one. And actually, let me have a look at... We're gonna micro a little bit. Chains of Scorn. Do I have another... No, I don't. Alright. It's okay. Oh yeah, shatter all. Why not? Okay. This gives me just enough. <laughs> Is that context sensitive? Where he laughs like that? It would be cool if it was. Okay, now this should give me enough to both upgrade my whip and upgrade my new weapon. If it does only require two, like the other ones. Cool, cool. I'm waiting for this game to kind of open up, get new weapons and all that. It's gonna be that's gonna be the shit. Again, I can already think of places to use this. I'm assuming the horse dies because this doesn't really play. Like there's not gonna be too many open areas from what it looks like. I mean honestly the horse in Darksiders 1 wasn't used too often as well. It played a role in one area and one boss, but other than that, not really. Cool. Upgrade this and upgrade this. Yeah, you would like to see my back, wouldn't you? That fury booty. All right. I think we'll go on, oh, obviously we'll go on for a little bit, you know? This oh, mm, no, Serpent Hole. Take your time. Blistering Bridge, that's the one, right? Yeah. Funny, funnily enough, yesterday we were talking about this game on stream and Darksiders 2. If you haven't checked out the stream I did yesterday, which a lot of people were there, but do so because it was really fun. Also talked about 
Smash Ultimate, which is actually coming out next Friday, so five days. You know, gonna make sure to stop showering uh, until then to become a true Smash player. You know, that's basically the key to being good at that game. This is pretty cool, this ability. But honestly, um... Hello? Okay, these are actual enemy skeletons. So can you combo them together? Yes, you can. This is what I was looking for, the hollows. Because so far the combat was pretty underwhelming, I'd say. And now it's become much more interesting. That was an accident. Can you switch this off? Shit. I wasted my rat like an idiot. Oh well, whatever. I was gonna say, um, <clears throat> we also talked about the switch in general. So if you wanna add me there, my friend code is in the comments for that video. I posted it. I currently have one friend on switch. Feels bad, man. Did I just knock him off? I think I did. I've been playing... Oh, I can just jump into that, can't I? Yeah. No, no, I can't. Okay. No, oh! That makes a little bit more sense. I thought you had to go down. Make sure not to fall down. So yeah, I've picked up, or I've been playing Fortnite on Switch. Holy shit. That's not how you do that. Alright. It's fun. I mean, it's probably my favorite version of Fortnite. If I'm gonna be honest. Oh. Yeah, that's how you do it. I can see a similarity here. The flame speaks to Okay, this guy's gonna be pissed. Which crystal? I'm like so close to death. I'm actually dead. I wasn't paying attention to the crystal. I was gonna say, so yeah, it's Fortnite on Switch is <clears throat> pretty fun. It is absolute calamity. I mean, <coughs> I do apologize for that. That's gonna sound lovely. I can already see the audio spike, so yeah. Um, it is absolute calamity. Like, there are people talking on their mics, especially in Europe here, like, there's German people, Spanish, like, it's a really good study of language. There's hella kids, like, I swear, every 10-year-old in the world plays Fortnite at this point. It's a little bit weird, I'm like, sometimes I play, I play and I'm like, am I the only adult here? Am I the adult in the room? And sometimes it's difficult to tell. And still the game is fun. For like, you know, passing time, I'm never gonna play it enough to actually get proper good at it. Like a lot of people are. Because you need to put a ton of hours into it. It's just, you know... Oh, nice. I like the counter. You can fall off, can't you? I was wondering. It's really slidey at the edge as well. I 
need to figure out like the combos. So that's basic. I think that's the delayed one, right? No, I'm screwing it up. I don't know if there's even a delayed one. This is if you hold it. Yeah, you better grab on. Sometimes it's really weird because it looks like she's not gonna grab on, but in the end she does. She do, she do. Oh shit. Well, that was a screw up. It's gonna necessitate a small healing shard. So, where were we? Away. Shit, okay, let's not use that attack. Because when you land... Fuck, I walked into... This is why you shouldn't fuck around with your... Um, what you call it? Your inventory in the middle of battle. Alright, alright. I don't think I'm gonna edit this out. I mean, the run back isn't too bad. This enemy, though, is pretty tough. I, You can definitely see how this game is very Dark Souls influenced. Which, you know, I, I, don't, I still don't know. I still don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I'm having a hell of a time with this game. I'm enjoying it immensely. It's just... Can this still be classified as Darksiders? I mean, obviously, but... Eat shit, skeletons. It does actually set them on fire, which is pretty cool. So she does home in, interestingly. Thought that actually, like, straight up follows you. Like it's a projectile. Ouch. I don't know how I did that, but that was okay. I have to use it. So the Nephilim res Respite does heal you quite a bit. That is really cool. That's my favorite attack. For sure. I swear, I always get scared. It looks like she's not gonna hang on, but again, she always does. Okay, this is the last time I'm gonna fight this thing. Mother, are you kidding me? Okay, that's not gonna kill. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to use it. Knock me off the edge. Oh, it's... Mm, that, that is a really annoying attack. Because this area is tiny. I swear, this is, I'm going to kill this monster. Finally. Are you kidding me? It explodes when it it explodes when it dies. Shit. That's what they were talking about with the crystal, wasn't it? 
Only question now, does it stay dead or is it gonna stay alive without making a pun? Is that a pun? That's more of a reference. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna edit this part out and see if it comes back. It's there. Shit, it does come back. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to leave this monster up for the next episode. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Darksiders 3. I didn't make much progress, did I? Well, I kinda did, sort of. Thanks for watching and see you next time.